congrats on the the week you guys had. Just kind of talk about, you know, getting those two wins last week. How much confidence? How much morale? How much of a morale booster was that for the team? That kind of s struggle in the preseason with all the tough opponents and stuff. It was really good. You know, it's obviously, you know, um, our chance to the NCAA playoffs is through the Big West tournament. So. We're just taking the one game at a time approach, like coaches do and teams do. And uh, you know, uh, both games we didn't play super great, um, but we won, and uh, that was the main thing. You know, the guys um, are improving, but uh, we have so many injuries right now that it, right now we're just kind of piecing together game by game. And uh, our motto is just find a way to win. You know, just find a way. Talk about uh, the big match at Irvine this week. Kind of how is Irvine looking headed in this match, and kind of what will kind of be the keys to it. Irvine's really good. They're a good side. They're they're a very good attacking side. They've got uh, some special players. So you know the key for us is to first of all defend well, make sure we have a good defensive base, and uh, um, you know develop uh, opportunities from there. Um, you know uh, we're on the road, so. You know, we don't want to get exposed. We want to be, we want to be sound defensively, and uh, put ourselves in a position to win the game. Can you uh, kind of elaborate as much as you can on the injuries, as far as who might miss Wednesday? Yeah, and you know, our, you know, Wes Fainer, who has been starting at center back for us, um, is out with a hip flexor, and uh, you know, he's a he's a big part of the side. You know, uh, Junior uh, Burgess uh, hurt his ankle. Um, at Riverside, so he, he didn't train today. So hopefully he'll be ready to go for Wednesday. Coach, we, we know about the slow start this year, but it seems like the, well, in the last few games, I think one loss in the last six games. I mean, what does that tell you about this team and, and how they've kind of turned, turned some things around? And, well, and the first part of the season, we're really, really trying to figure ourselves out, trying to figure out you know, our, our lineup, uh, figure out our best kind of combination of players. Um, and um, you know, for the most part, we, we, we have more of a set lineup of guys now that we are we're relying on. And um, you know, our freshmen are now coming in off the bench, and uh, we're relying on them more for spot minutes, and relying on our, our, our more senior players to, to win us games. And um, you know, they're 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 responding pretty well. And uh, you know. Um, we feel like we still can get better, though. We, we feel like we haven't really, really peaked, um, which I think hopefully is a good sign. You know, uh, you know we've gone halfway through our se Big West season. You know, we're in a good position right now, but these next five games are probably our toughest games. So hopefully we get healthy and we start piecing together, you know, good, complete games, 90 minutes of good soccer, because that's what it's going to take. Yeah, you know, I, I think I've asked you this probably every week. I mean, you feel like it, you, you guys are taking the right steps. I mean, you're you're where you want to be at at this point in the year. You feel like you're continually improving, and uh, like you said, there's still obviously a little bit more that, that you want to see from the team. My 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 ideal situation, our ideal situation, would be to to put ourselves in a position to have a home Big West Conference playoff match. That's what we, that's what we would really love to do. But we know, first of all, we've got to we want to be top four in the conference. Once you get to that conference tournament, you know anything can happen. Um, and at the same time, we want to get everybody healthy, um, and uh, do that over the next week and a half. And uh, if we do that, then then uh, we're going to be a good side, and we'll be able to hopefully get to uh, get to a conference conference game. Hey, Paul, what Junior did, was that kind of a completely out of nowhere kind of performance? You know, the guy scores three in a game. He scored three goals in one half. Yeah. No, he, <laughs> he, you know, just probably in about 20 minutes he scored the three goals. He's, he's a pretty special player um, on set pieces. Like we talked about um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, he, you know, there's David Beckham. He can bend in a ball. Junior Burgess can do that at the college level. Exceptional free kick taker. And you know he had a free kick from probably 35 yards out that caught the keeper off guard, and then he hit a penalty kick, and then he had a nice play with David Zamora. So, um, you know, we would rather have him spread out those goals to many different games. Sometimes, <laughs> three and one half, it, it helped us get a result 
but uh, you know we, we we hope that you know he can produce more goals this year. Looking ahead a little bit, Coach, as a team, where do you want to be coming into that last game against Santa Barbara? Um, what are the biggest strides you need to make once you get there? We'd love to go down to Irvine and uh, and get a point. You know, you get a point for a tie, you get three for a win. We'd love to go down there with at least a point on the road, you know, against a nationally ranked program. Um, you know, and then we play a couple home games. We play Cal State Northridge here who just beat Santa Barbara. And it is, you know, a senior-laden team, seven seniors starting, very, very good side. We'd love to get three points there. Um, and, uh, you know, three points from our other home game. Um, and put ourselves in a position where we play that very last game against UC Santa Barbara, and it's a, it's a battle for first or second in the Big West. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. So if we can get to that spot, then I think it would be, be a pretty, pretty amazing evening. What is it like playing at home? Is it is it a distinct advantage for you guys uh, with the with the home crowd behind you? Yeah, I mean we've only lost three games in three and a half years at home. So yeah, if, you know for some reason, you know we we, we uh, have a great record there. You know we, it's tough to play at Cal Poly. It's tough to play anywhere on the road. Really, I mean it's tough to play at Sa Santa Barbara. Doesn't lose at home, right? Um, but yeah, we it's a it's a tight field. You know, and teams have you know, difficulty coming in here and and playing with the crowd right on top of them. And um, so, yeah, we love playing at Spanos. Thank you, Coach.